for a mummy makeover, mummy makeover being breast and tummy surgery, the question is, is it recommended to have a breast lift and possibly augmentation without implants uh, with fat transfer, uh, butt fat transfer? Okay, so when people are having, uh, so yeah, that is what, to answer the question, that is one of the options. So some people will want one of various tummy operations, which might be a mini abdominoplasty, a fleur de abdominoplasty, a full abdominoplasty with or without liposuction. Some people will want a breast operation, which could be an uplift or breast, in, breast implants or an uplift and breast implants or fat grafting or an uplift and fat grafting or reduction or, you know, combinations of things. And the question often arises, if someone has breast droop, how do they know? How do they decide if they need an uplift or implants or an uplift with implants or sometimes even a reduction? And I've, I've had people who think they need implants who end up having a reduction quite recently. And the thing with breast droop is it's so hard to see past the breast droop that you don't have a clue what you want. And that's really impossible. So breast taping is the answer to that. Breast taping is a way of subtracting breast droop from the equation. You will see how you would look um, with no breast droop. And here's how it's done. Well, it's, I'll show you how it's done. Go to YouTube and have a look at that video. And what it does is it simulates an uplift um, exactly as you would be with an uplift, with no implants, with no fat grafting, with no reduction, mm. just an uplift. And then from there, you can say, okay, I don't have to imagine away lots and lots of different steps. I've now got one step to think about. Do I now want this as it is? In other words, you want a mapexy. Or do I want less volume than this, in which case you need a reduction? Or do I want more volume than this? And if you want more volume, then I get out a whiz bangy machine, actually an iPad, but it's got whiz bang software on it, which can simulate in 3D what you look like with the uplifted breasts. And we work out what volume do you want? And if you want, a relatively small volume increase and you want to look natural, then you can do that with fat grafting. If you want a larger volume in, uh, increase or you say, I actually don't want to look natural, I want to look like I've got implants in, then you need implants. That's basically the decision making in a nutshell. Definitely. I, that, I've just done myself out of a job, I reckon, because just replay that bit all done.